Meghan Markle had previously claimed she had played no role in the drafting of the book. But on Thursday, the Duchess of Sussex issued an apology to the Court of Appeals for forgetting about authorizing a former aide to brief the authors of Finding Freedom. Jeremy Vine Culler Michael questioned the Duchess's U-turn, claiming she had betrayed the public's trust with her conduct. Michael said, It's consistent. She's always been full of sound bites, and the classic was when she first became involved with the royal family. They ran a documentary about her life on TV and she made a speech, or a speech was broadcast that she'd made, where she was praising her father for all his support through her education. Later on, they showed another speech where she was at a some women's organization, and therefore suited not to include her father, where she airbrushed the father out claiming she had to work to finance her education, which was a contradiction. Presenter Jeremy Vine however offered a counter-argument to Michael's claims, saying, You've been following it closely. We've mentioned it, this is bad. She said she hadn't cooperated then she said she forgot and she did. However, there are defenders of Meghan who say this is all motivated by people who don't like Americans, don't like people of color, don't like people who come from another country and marry into the royal family. What do you say to that? But citing Vine panelist Christo Falfas, Michael renewed his claims, they're blind. Christo was saying, by and large, the media initially were favorable and supportive of her. That was basically true, and that was true of the public. And she betrayed the public's trust in her. How can you forget you had significant phone calls, emails, meetings, discussions on such a serious topic? Following the publication of Finding Freedom, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry distanced themselves from the biography, claiming they had played no part in the writing process. However, the Sussex's former communications secretary Jason Knauf contradicted the claim in a bombshell statement to the Court of Appeals. Mr. Knauf, who is now working as chief executive of Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge's charitable foundation, said the authors of the books had been briefed at Harry and Meghan's request. He also claimed he had had several conversations with both Omid Scobie and Carolyn Duran during the drafting process. Mr. Knauf said, while the authors discussed it with me as part of normal contact with the Kensington Palace Press Office, the Duke and Duchess later authorized specific cooperation in writing in December 2018. The former aide detailed conversations he claimed to have had with both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex about providing the authors with information as the couple tried to avoid having direct contact with them. In a witness statement, which like Mr. Knauf's was made public by lawyers after a request from the media, Meghan apologized. She said, in the light of the information and documents that Mr. Knauf has provided, I accept that Mr. Knauf did provide some information to the authors for the book and that he did so with my knowledge, for a meeting that he planned for with the authors in his capacity as communications secretary. Vanessa Feltz has branded Meghan Markle and Prince Harry manipulative after bombshell evidence claimed that the Duchess of Sussex did help the authors of Finding Freedom. Vanessa said, it's absolutely riveting stuff. It's actual documentary evidence of emails sent by Meghan and Harry to their communications officer in order to portray themselves in a particular way, in a flattering light, in a way that they have orchestrated, in a way that they want people to perceive them. Now that, I think many people will interpret, is incredibly manipulative. And I wrote down just one sentence that Prince Harry emailed Jason Knauf because I don't think that it fits at all with the way that we thought Prince Harry operated as a human being. He sends his press communicator this, I totally agree that we have to be able to say we didn't have anything to do with it. I mean, that's not the Harry that we loved and knew, is it? I thought that he was just an honest, straight down the line, blustery, lovely guy. And that's all about we have to be able to say something when we're actually doing, very clearly, something else. Holly groaned, oh God.